So unfortunately it has rained in the night. It's uh, Thursday morning now. It was it was starting to spit with rain uh, when, when I was on my way home actually. So I wouldn't have been able to carry on drilling much later anyway. It's just short of four mil in there. As you can see we're in self-isolation in the workshop today. I'm fixing the, the diesel pipe, the pipe for the uh, diesel tank. And Oscar's cleaning up my mess. I spilt diesel all over the floor. But in a minute, we're going to go and put the, put the loader on the 3350. So that'll give us something interesting to do. Because it needs to go back to farm two, really. So the only si silver lining as a, of us having that this little bit of rain is that it washes in the fertiliser, what Dad put on the wheat uh, earlier on in the week. So that'll wash that in and it'll get the wheat growing. So the rain's not... All bad news because next week looks dry. But it would have been nice to finish that drilling before it did actually rain. I put a new radio in, look. Done that this morning. It's the one out of the the uh, 215. I put a new radio in the 215. I'm not sure if I've actually showed you yet. That's the old one. It's in here. And new one. So we've got a Bluetooth stereo in here as well now. It's a pretty miserable day outside. It's just been drizzling all day. Um, it's a shame. Right, so we're going to try and... Uh, well, we're not going to try. We're going to put this loader on. It's, uh, you have to bear with me because it's the first time I've ever put it on by myself. So The, the loader's barely ever been off the tractor, but uh, the few times it has been off, Dad's always taking it off so we'll see it's pretty straightforward basically we'll pick a low gear we drive in as long as the main thing is to get it square get lined up in there straight see that Okay, the battery died, but now I've got the uh, external battery pack plugged in, so it's on charge and we're videoing at the same time. So, what we've got to do now is let the pressure out of the out of the controls, so we can connect up the pipes. That should be good. Have a quick That's the best way to get around here. Right tight up against the wall. Can't remember which way the pipes went. Can you see? Not oh, really. Light's not great, is it? Probably see better if we go that way. No, I'll stick on the wall. So it went uh, green on that one, and then red, I think, and then yellow, and then blank. Right. That's not going to get pinched. All right, we'll jump back in and see what happens. Push the, the lever to the right, which tilts the bucket down. And there we go. That, that pin in there that will lock down in. Okay. 
this all. The trimmer loader, 1590. There you go, jobs are good. Okay, it's Friday morning, and we're gonna. I'm gonna take this. Um, Eric's here too. We're gonna take this 3350 for a ride back to, back to Farm One. Um, so it's about six miles, a little bit on the main road, a bit up the country lane. Um, so yeah, we'll take it for a bit of a ride. The old handbrake there, look. Very simple to drive. You've got um, low range and high range and reverse. And then if you're in, say you're in low range, you've got gear one, two, three, and four. If you're in high range, it's uh, five, six, seven, eight. So, and then you've got a like a split power. I'm not sure what that. It's like a split gear thing. Um, I'll think of it in a minute, what it's called. Uh, but yeah, it basically just puts you up half a gear. So yeah, we'll go for a ride home. Finished up with about five mil of rain uh, on th Wednesday night and Thursday, so not a huge volume, but it was just you know just drizzle, real nuisance to be honest. It, um, but hopefully it's drying up today, so we'll leave it to we we'll give the ground today to dry up, and then tomorrow, i.e. Saturday, we'll um, we'll get back on the drilling. Just stopped off in the lay-by to. I just stopped off in the lay-by quick to see if there was anything leaking. But we're good. All right, the old girl's back where she belongs. Back where she lives. She's probably glad to be home. Let's drill a quick check over and um, I'll start by, start by greasing it. I'd just like to check these eradicator points are tight because they have a habit of coming loose. Um, and that's it basically. It's got a seed in, greased it up, um, just give it a general check round, make sure the seed pipes are all good. Tires are good. 
don't seem don't have any problems with punctures anymore ever since I put the heavy duty tyres on a couple years ago. So yeah, I think she's ready to go. Okay, so another thing I've got to do whilst I'm up here is quickly grease up this Bateman sprayer. It hasn't been done in a while, so we'll quickly do it. Basically on these, it's got hydraulic um, suspension, these like, hydraulic rams here. There's one on all, on each corner. There might even be two. No, just one on each corner. And uh, yeah. In a way, it's similar to the fast track where the you got a floating axle with, that's um, controlled by the hydraulic. I got to start the engine up so that it pumps up the ram, and then I can get to the grease nipples. is to um, take this JCB back to farm one. But I've got to take a trailer, I've got to take the uh, bag lifter, the bucket, and the green trailer. We've got a single bag lifter for the for this tractor, so I've just put that on because um, I've only got four more bags to put in the in the drill, so this tractor can do that. We'll just hook, put the tractor up to the trailer that's got about four bags of seed on it. So for those of you that are um, that were asking about the Kubota that was parked in the yard, it's not it's not ours. It's not it doesn't belong to the farm, and it's not on demo. It's someone else's. What uh, was he was parking it in the yard? So uh, yeah, don't worry. 
we're not we're not changing brand just yet. The roads are certainly a lot quieter ever since the well, the country's gone into panic mode, self isolation. So I think if I did have to choose another um, brand of tractors, it would probably be Fed. Um, closely followed by the fast track. Um, yeah, no, I've had Fed before and, uh, and really liked it. Good, reliable tractor. It's just, it's all just comes down to dealer backup, doesn't it? Um, if Hunt Forest were no good, we'd go somewhere else and probably have a different colour of tractor, but because we get on well with Hunt Forest, they look after us, we stick with them. Um, yeah, there's no point in going and getting a fent and, um, and having rubbish back up, so... Not okay, so this afternoon, Friday afternoon, I'm going to quickly give this JCB a quick blast off with a pressure washer because it's in a bit, bit muddy, a bit dusty from rolling the, you know, from milling the barley, so uh, we'll give it a wash off and a grease up. Okay, so just finishing off the day by greasing up this JCB so it's all ready to go for its next job. It's not, I've been doing other stuff today but um, just not videoed at all. I've been at, I've done some jobs at home because I'm probably going to be working all weekend so I've just got a couple of jobs done at home that I needed to do. And uh, yeah, so it's just nice going home knowing that that the you know the machinery is all clean and and, ma and maintained. swivels greased on the old 526 used to have uh, grease nipples in the UJs but this one doesn't actually have grease nipples in the UJs they're sealed so it's dried up real nice today now it's, we've got, it's like a northeasterly wind yeah, it's drying up nicely. So hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to go up to go up to um, farm two and get that drilling finished. There's 23 hectares of oats left to drill there, and then um, and then we'll drop the drill off, bring the tractor back here, and then on Sunday uh, put the fertilizer spreader on and start spreading some fertilizer on. Some grassland, you know, like haylage grass. If it's if it'll travel. Simon hasn't cultivated any more ground yet because it's all too wet. But 
tomorrow, hopefully it will be dry enough for him to, to roll. I've already done that one. Hopefully tomorrow it will be dry enough for him to go and roll all the, that spring oak. Those spring oaks what we drilled. And then Dad's got to put some fertiliser on them, some liquid fertiliser.